Welcome to Education 270. This is a quick video to go over the syllabus and course calendar for spring 2019 in Education 270. I am your instructor, Jennifer Myers, and I wanted to just take a minute to go over all of the information that is important to success in our course. Let's start with the instructor information. This has the location of my office, my office hours, and also the way to contact me. You can contact me on my cell phone at any time. Also, I accept text messages and email. Texting and emailing me will probably get you the quickest reply, although if you text me, please make sure that you have your name in the message because only your phone number will be listed. We have an external course website in case you have trouble ever on D2L. Otherwise, D2L is everywhere you'll need to be for this course. Also in this course, we communicate through a class Facebook page. You'll learn more about that group in just a few moments, but this is the direct address to our group. This course is named Foundations of Early Literacy, and you're going to be learning all about reading and writing and helping children develop those skills from an early age. This course has one required text, which is Literacy in the Early Grades, a successful start for pre-K-4 readers and writers. This is a custom edition for Hack, or you can pick up the fourth edition. Just be warned, if you do pick up the fourth edition, you will need to uh, adjust the page numbers that are in our presentations and on our course calendar because those are linked to the custom edition. We'll also be using other online articles throughout the semester. Our course goals are quite extensive. Education 270 has a very big curriculum. As you work your way down this list, they do follow sequentially as we learn this semester, and there's a correlating assignment and NACI standard for everything that you're going to learn this semester. I'm a person that likes lists, so I like to check them off as I learn them, and you can do the same. A very important part of this course is how you get your grades. Because we're virtual, I like to make sure that you're interacting and understanding the information I'm presenting to you. So a lot of our courses through participation activities built into each weekly presentation. Over the course of the semester, we have, shouldn't be 130, we have 13 participation activities at 10 points each, which there's our 130. Uh, we'll have a lesson plan project with two parts. Each part will be worth 100 points to total 200. A cultural language project for 100 a children's book list project for 100, a literacy website project for 100, and a curriculum alignment project for 100. You're going to be collecting pins on Pinterest and you'll be making 10 Pinterest boards. Each board should have at least 10 pins and that will be 100 points total at the end of the semester. And each week you will be participating in a weekly literature sharing activity where you hear a story and plan how you could use that book in the classroom. You'll do that 12 times at 10 points apiece, and that's a total of 120 points over the course of the semester. At the end of the semester, we'll do a final activity game on Kahoot, which is worth 50 points. That makes 1,000 points for our semester. I want you to pay special attention to our grading scale. Education 270 is a 200 level course, a hack, and all 200 level courses are considered specialty courses, and that for that reason, they have a more difficult grading scale. To, so to get that A, you need to score 93% or higher. So just keep that in mind as you work through the course. If you get a 90, although in some of our earlier education classes that would have been an A, it will not be an A in this course. So please pay close attention to your points throughout the semester. I also want to point out that the participation activities and weekly literature sharing activities are cumulative. What that means is each week, if you complete your activities, you'll get up to 10 points. So when you look in the grade book, after the first week, you might have 10 points out of 130. That looks like an F, but it's not an F because it's cumulative, so we add to it. So you're never going to want to average your grade because of that, it just builds throughout the semester. If you ever wanted to average your grade, all you have to do is see how many points we've accumulated at this point. So if we're in week five, you will have the chance out of 50 points for your participation activities. So that's just basically how we run it in here for participation, which is also our weekly literature sharing. A few policies 
uh, that should be pretty common at this point. Uh, first of all, when we talk about communication, please put Education 270 virtual in any correspondence to me, whether it be email, phone, or texting. I should be back in touch with you within 24 hours, um, and usually it's much, much sooner than that. But um, within a day, you'll hear back from me. And when you turn in a project or assignment, it will be graded within seven days, but usually it's much sooner. Uh, if you've never taken a virtual course before, you wanna go to our D2L student orientation area, and that's housed when you go into your homepage on D2L. Also, any concerns with D2L should be sent to the help desk at HAC at this phone number, or you can contact Desire to Learn at any point, uh, 24 hours a day at this 1-800 number. This is a professional course, and you are going to school to be a teacher. This profession requires academic English, and I want you practicing both in written and oral form how to speak like a professional. So when you turn in your assignments, please make sure you use proper punctuation and grammar and spelling. Also, when you are emailing me or texting me, please make sure you're using proper spelling, grammar, and punctuation as well. Now, we are virtual class, but we have an attendance policy that sets you up for success and also keeps you on track. If you fall behind in this class, with it being a seven-week course, it's hard to catch back up. So, first of all, you should check in every Monday for new work, and that work is due Wednesday at midnight, with 11.59 technically. Uh, then we'll have new work that launches on Thursday morning, and that work will be due Sunday night. Now, in your Dropbox, it will say 11.59 is the due date for every project for this course. But please note that as long as it's in before 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. the next morning, it will not be considered late. Uh, makeup work. Uh, if something happens and you're missing an assignment or a project, please let me know right away. And I will accept late work. It will be a 10% deduction through the first week and 20% deduction after that. And after two weeks, if I haven't heard from you, I will not accept your assignment. If something's going on and you've communicated with me and you need an extension, I, am, I do that all the time for students, but it has to be pre-approved by me. Um, if you wanna withdraw from the course, you can follow this link and uh, that just follows tax guidelines for the difference between withdrawing with a W or being assigned an F if you don't withdraw in time. Every once in a while, we have something come up in your life that is going to hinder you from completing the course on time. At this point, uh, if that happens to you, you wanna communicate with me and we'll work together to keep you on track to finish 80% of the course by the end of the semester. If you can do that, then we can give you an extension by giving you an incomplete. And if that happens to you, just let me know. Anyone who has a disability letter, please get it to me right away, and I will meet your accommodation needs uh, at any time. Last but not least, we have an academic honesty policy here at HAC. Anyone who plagiarizes an assignment will receive a failing grade on that assignment. And if you have a second offense, it will mean failing the course. The same is true for cheating. We don't have tests in this course, but anyone who is taking work from someone else's assignment or cheating on their assignments will have the same consequences. On to our course schedule. This course schedule is also in D2L in the course calendar, and it's actually screenshotted from here, so everything is aligned correctly. If at any point you find a mistake in the course schedule or course calendar, please let me know, and I will fix it. Um, how our course schedule works is the date is always listed in purple and as you can see as I noted above Monday launches our new material and that's part A of our course and then Thursday launches part B and the work for part A is always due Wednesday night and part B is always due Sunday night. The topic that we're learning about is always listed across from the date and your assignments for that week are also listed. I want to share with you that I always have what you need to do, but it usually says to complete the presentations. To find out exactly what ha should be done in those presentations, you need to go to the last slide of the presentation and it will give you a list that shows you exactly what needs to be handed in and where it goes. 
So always, if you're in doubt, did I do everything I need to do this week? Go to the last slide of that week's presentation and it will tell you exactly what to do. Also, if I introduce a new project, you'll see a little sticky note that says new project. So this first week, we're going to be introduced to two projects. If you scroll down, you can see when there's a due date for a project, it's listed in green underneath the week that it's due in, and that's where you'll find the Dropbox. So the Dropbox for your first project is in week 2A folder. And that's just how we roll through the semester. Every Monday and every Thursday there's new material, and your participation for those weeks is always due Wednesday night and Sunday night. So you can see how it is easy to get behind. If you don't check in until late in the week, you're already going to be behind. Um, participation points are due on Wednesday night and Sunday night, so make sure you're getting those completed on time. If you're not doing the participation activities, then I really don't know that you're learning in the course because we are virtual. Also, stay on track. Just, sorry, I'm probably hurting your eyes right now. Just note, I don't mind if you finish week 1A and it's not Thursday yet, you may work into week 1B. But don't get more than one week ahead. So if you're in one week 1B, you can do part of week 2A, but don't go on to week 2B. What happens is I like to recap after every week section. So Wednesday, I'll grade... Uh, Wednesday your work is due, Thursday I'll grade it, and then I'll do a weekly recap on our group Facebook page, and that's where I can kind of check in with you and make sure everyone understood everything. If you work too far in advance, you miss those and you miss interaction on projects and other collaboration we have with our peers in this virtual forum, and it really hinders your learning. So again, if you have any questions at any time, please notify me through email, text, or phone and I look forward to learning with you this semester.